Hello! Today we are going back to yesterday's Enterprises. Today we try to print the Enterprise C from Star Trek The Next Generation. See you inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be printing the Enterprise C from Star Trek The Next Generation episode Yesterday's Enterprise, where this ship was featured coming in from the past and changing time and creating all kinds of paradoxes. So today we're going to print this one. This file, it's an awesome file. It's an awesome print. Um, I didn't like the size initially, so I blew it up 300%. As you can see on the table, it's big. Um, I'm using a Creality CR10 to print this one. Now you notice I put the saucer down and the warp nacelles up in the air. I found that this works better with the supports to get the model to actually print. Um, and it kind of made it easier to get it away from the plate, which was awesome. Um, I've really kind of enjoyed this print. Um, it's a single print for a massive ship, even compared to the Enterprise B video that's also out there on the time lapse. It's a big ship and it's pretty cool. So I am printing this with supports because um, there are some straight edges getting the support for the warp nacelles. And I did increase the raft margin um, so that it did have a bigger raft for better plate adhesion to the printer since there's so little space actually hitting the plate. Um, the raft was crucial to getting this done as you can see from the supports on just the saucer and as we spin it around here, um, the supports right under the navigational dish and just kind of getting it to support and print. So we've got it rendered, lots of layers. Here we go into the prints. If you guys are enjoying what you see on the channel, the information you get, please uh, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let us know what you're doing. And down in the comments, guys, please give us ideas. Is there a Star Trek ship that you wanna see on the channel? Star Wars, it doesn't matter. Just if there's something you wanna see printed, let me know. And here we go, we're gonna get into the actual print time lapse. Enjoy. Right, so that's the print, pretty quick. It was pretty stable thanks to the bigger raft, but here I'm gonna actually start taking it out of its supports. The supports are kind of thick. It does take me a little bit of time to get it out of the support to get it ready to print. Now you notice too on the saucer section, there's some rippling in one section of it. I'm not too worried about that. Um, between sanding and some filler, I'll get that smoothed out um, and probably put a little bit of a heavy layer of primer to also kind of smooth that in to get that pretty smoothed out. But you'll see the model here getting ripped away from the supports that all that support had while it was on the printer from the print. 
and we'll get it done. If you guys are enjoying all of this, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.